All right, I'm just playing this mouse and keyboard. Hopefully it's not too bad. As far as the uh, the tank controls go. The old tank. Even got that like Silent Hill sound to it. I guess a lot of games do that though. The fucking lady's face. All right. New game. I haven't played Silent Hill 1 in probably like a year, I think, at this point. It's probably the Silent Hill I played the most, though. The words he used to explain the case were so usual in my line of work. A, wo a woman in her late 20s, last seen a few weeks ago. But this time, something was off. I felt it in my bone. I wouldn't be coming home tonight. What do you think that is? Mm, I don't know. Oh, it was a car. It's a car. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had a long face. Whoa. That's Harry Osborne. The Osborne brother. I'm um, in the mouse isn't logging. I don't think I need the mouse though. Just gets out fucking packing. Breeze. All right, the controls don't seem that complicated. Big moon. Do you guys see how uh, the Samsung S23, like if you point your camera at the moon, the AI in the camera, like just fills in the moon. It like makes it look more real. Apparently that was just like a thing that the phone does. Which is pretty fucking bizarre. Yeah, so it's like I have the S22 Ultra. It's a like fucking cool phone, but. You could tell there's AI it uses to build like the hundred X pictures, like the super zoomed in pictures. So it's not actually like zooming in, I think, all the way. It's just building the it takes like the highest resolution picture and then just applies AI to it. To like finesse it. That's no moon. But yeah, the S23 Ultra, I guess, when you point it at the moon. With the. Like the highest zoom you can get on it, it just fills in the details of the moon with AI. There's an old ladder leading down the well. Yeah, it kind of made sense to me when I. So I got the S22 like a year ago. It's a cool phone. I love it. And it has a great camera. But. You like zoom in on certain things like from really far away and you could tell that it's like being doctored with a little bit of AI. It's like I'm dropping a few frames, maybe. Uh oh. The truth is coming out. There's an old ladder leading down the well. Descend the ladder? No. I just got here. You just roll up to this fucking dilapidated property. First thing you do, just climb into a fucking well. Excuse me. 
I don't even want to go over here yet. I don't even know where the fuck I am, man. I don't even know. There's a trap door to the basement. I don't say that's a fucking trap door. That's a fucking basement cellar door. It's bound by heavy chains. Padlock is securing the chains. Also, always something evil underneath that in every scary movie. I feel like. You guys ever have a cellar like this? My house never had one, but I had a bunch of friends who have one like that. It's like the back entrance into the cellar from the outside of the house. It's an old ladder. You already fucking read this shit. Not yet. But it's like a huge, heavy iron door, steel door. Looks like it hasn't been driven in a while. There's overlay an HD image of the moon to the features they could almost see. <laughs> Front door is locked. Looks like there's like a little note out here. Mailbox is stuffed with unopened mail. Letters from Mary Ann. Dear Eleanor, I'm writing this letter because I don't know what else to do. You didn't respond to any of my phone calls. Are you all right? I heard about what happened between you and James. Oh man, we got James in here any already. I'm going to shut the windows. Hold on a second. Maybe not all the way, but I'm just afraid someone's going to walk by and like one of these days hear me like play weird shit, even though this isn't even that weird. But I heard about what happened between you and James, and while I know it's difficult to cope in these kinds of situations, locking yourself away is the worst thing you can do, dearie. <laughs> I would drive over to check in on you in person, but my hips still have not quite recovered from the OP. The op. OP? Cope? You're always welcome here, though, Eleanor. You know that. Your friend, Marianne. Marianne's just like a fucking shit poster. Dear Eleanor, it's been two weeks since I sent you my letter. I'm really concerned about you. Please give me a sign that you're okay. It's me, OP. Uh, dear Eleanor, I really don't want to do this, but if I don't hear from you soon, I'll have to contact the police. This doesn't seem like the best way to, like, contact your friend who may be in danger. Pretty sure uh, Eleanor is fucking dead. Buddy. Front door is locked. Break in from windows, maybe? The windows are very dirty. It's hard to see what's in there. But uh, I can hear a voice emanating from inside. Who the fuck is screaming in the distance? Do you hear that? I swear I heard it. There it is. What creature is that? The letter. Dear Eleanor, I can't take it anymore. Last night I could hardly recognize you. You're not the woman I met at college. You're not the woman I fell for. You're not the woman I married. I know you've had a few rough months, but so have I. Right now, I have to look after myself because I sense some terrible purpose behind your gaze, and I fear for my safety. Please forgive me for leaving you here. With love, James. Why'd they have to use the name James? Eleanor's locked in the basement. She's locked in the basement. Is her path right here? I thought I saw another path. I guess we gotta go this way. Some drums. The fuck was that? I'm not into this camera too much. Did you see that up in the sky there? Something was shining. This 
something out there. It's too dark over there. I can barely see anything. That would be another cool thing to see someone make now that everyone's doing these PS1 remakes. Um, like the X-Files PS2 game. Someone just like makes their own version of that. They're like a continuing story. I don't know. I feel like Fox Mulder would fit in to one of these games so well. Stables are empty. I wonder where the animals went. I mean, judging by the shape of the farm, they're fucking gone. Oh, come on. Yes. That's the first fucking item in the game is a fucking dad joke. It's a shovel. Looks like it's seen better days. Still, I can dig it. Okay. I've had enough. You got the shovel. The stables are empty. I wonder where the animals went. I mean, have you ever seen an abandoned barn and wondered where the animals went? I just assume they are fucking gone or became hamburgers. I don't know. It's an old looking book. Will you, be, will you take the book? Is that a poppy? The book. Yeah, we're definitely digging up some bodies with that shovel. First order of business. Yeah, they just got up and moved. Book. The Golden Arrow. All the pages are blank. What about the flower? What's this? You got the dried poppy. I knew it was a poppy. Dude, they got a fucking opium operation going on underneath this house. That's what Eleanor did. Clearly. Exactly what happened here. Old Lady Eleanor was running an opium den up on the hill. He had to bust up this racket. The stables are empty. Now right, we got that shovel. Also, that rake over there kind of looks like Hamburger Helper a little bit, doesn't it? Right there. Did you guys ever see the celebrity death match where Hamburger Helper got like fucking steamrolled by like a like a machine? Kind of fucked me up. Door's broken. It's like that scene in Gremlins 2 where the gremlin gets put in like the paper shredder. It was like the same thing happened to him. They would know what I'm talking about. Just the same build. Too bulky to carry around. Anything else over? Wheel barrel? I want to get mud all over my good shoes. I think there's like a little hole right there. 
Yeah, his celebrity deathmatch was fucking weird. Oh, fuck. It's a tiny little guy. Neat. Who is that? Is that a Twin Peaks reference? Who the fuck is that guy? Tiny little guy. Can't tell if it's Agent Cooper or not. The door is broken. I guess I gotta go dig some shit up. Unless there's another door out of that barn, it kind of looks like you can go back there. Apparently there's a bunch of Twin Peaks uh, stuff in this game too. Can't go back that way. I don't think there's anything else in here. What makes you think it was a fraggle? They're pretty elusive. Would a fraggle be considered a uh, cryptid? There we go. There's a mound of loose dirt. Maybe there's something buried here. You use the shovel. Shovel's handle came loose. You got the shovel handle. Sick. One key. You know how hard it would be to find like a fucking key in the bottom of a hole? What's that? It's a simple small key. Did you take the small key? Yeah, of course. Yeah, fraggles are uh, like little gremlin fellas and they live underneath a house. They kind of, they make like houses out of like edible connects. It's the only way I know how to describe that show. It had a catchy song. They are also Muppets, technically, I think. But then above the fraggles, there was like a house like this. It actually looked exactly like this house. And uh, they were like giants and they would eat the fraggles. I think sometimes they would catch them and just like, like, uh, dash their head on something real quick and then just eat them. Or at least I think that's what they would have done if they ever caught them. There's a trap door to the basement. It's bound by heavy chains. The padlock is securing the chains. We we'll use that key. No? <laughs> These sound effects are funny. Hey! It's kind of like a little weird looking key. Combine the key with the wooden shovel handle. No? Combine the key with the book. Okay, so that didn't work. A simple small key probably is not the house key, I would assume. Well, let's check it out. Huh? Look at the key. It's flat. Well, all in a day's work. Like it hasn't been driven in a while. Maybe this is the car key? Huh? Hey, let's go into the well. I have nothing else left to do. I guess I could have tried it on the silo. Looks like a diary entry. 1985. 
Last night, I had the most frightening dream. I was lost in a large hall with giant stone columns set upon an ever-expanding marble floor with a chessboard pattern. Isn't that just Harry Potter and the Sorcerer in the Stone? There were four men standing in front of me, taunting me, laughing at me, and telling me that I won't be the same person afterwards. They mean. Three of them had their faces covered with strange tendrils and flowers. The fourth man's face was also obscured, but somehow he felt different than the others. Somehow I felt empathy from him. All I could think about is how I wanted to tell him to just turn around and tell me everything would be okay. But he seemed to be looking for someone else. It's not working. There we go. Dear Diary, I'm so tired the creeps from my dreams refuse to let me sleep. Every time I'm about to drift off, one of them appears, whispering thoughts in my ear that I dare not write down, lest I make these abominable things real. Just don't. I don't want to tell James what's happening to me. As kind as he is, what man would stay with someone as broken as I? Okay, so some kind of fucking trauma. This is a cool well, though. No water, but... Pretty solid design. Cavern's blocked by some heavy stone doors. Looks like there's a space to put something in one of the big doors. Uh, book? No? I don't know, then. This looks like Final Fantasy VII now. Looks like the Temple of the Ancients. Also, I'm hesitant because they gave you a gun. Is there going to be like a monster at some point? Some kind of puzzle. Yeah, we're getting the black material here. It looks just like it. The lighting even. Judging by the blood stain, it appears to be a sacrificial altar. A large stone plate depicting a camera. Or chimera. A chimera. A chimera. A large stone plate depicting a chimera is fixed to the wall behind it. I thought it was chimera for like half my life. A chimera. A key is resting on the altar. It's a heavy key. Will you take the heavy iron key? Two keys. Bloody key. Chipotle should come out with like a new type of food item and call it the, uh, the ch ch Chipotle Mara or something. I don't know. Chipotle Chimera. And just change the culinary world. Alright, I think that key goes to the thing upstairs. Oh yeah, I've gotten pretty bad heartburn from one of those before. The, uh, the spicy beer drink, whatever the fuck it is. It's very tempting, but paid dearly for that. I think it goes here. No? What'd that key do? Beautifully crafted old iron key. Bop, bop. So we found a small key there. 
Trap door to the basement, bound by heavy chains, padlock securing the chain. Sure. You sure about that? I guess I could have tried to use it in the well, but I figured it was for up here so. Oh, it opened the door to the fucking house. Okay, here we go. Hello? Looks like I was too late. By my estimate, she's been here for over a week. She appears to have suffered several lacerations. Although the ultimate cause of death remains unclear. Uh, I should search the area for clues. Get to the bottom of this. The fuck is this? A nature documentary is playing. U.S. Department of Agriculture. Forest Service. This is gonna be the whole fucking thing. The National Wildlife Federation presents Patterns of the Wild. This looks like a good one to take a nap to. The land is our living. The land is the house of our life. A forest is home. This is the work of the Forest Service. How'd they get that to fox to do that? Into woods, to mend and reweave the tapestry of green and gold and living blood we call a national forest, that its riches may remain for all. I think that fox is going to eat someone. You going to eat that guy? That guy? Who's that? What the fuck was that, bird? Maybe it's a made-up documentary. Maybe it's about a monster. The creatures of the forest come forth to seek their food. That's when the psalmist put them in his song. Also, this can't be the original when voiceover. Night may be lost. Another dawn may bring another chance to live. Right? I don't know how much longer I can stay awake listening to this. It's hypnotic. Though hunger comes and death, the life the forest is grows ripe in the gold of summer. Look at that fucking nut. Some berries. I actually thought maybe something was going to happen, but there's no way. Not after all this time. Eagle. Since we came to this land until now, we wasted the house of the forest we were. One of the Slender Man games is a public domain movie, you know? the sky, the eagle we I don't know if you've ever seen that one, but I believe it. That cranberry sprite game has the, the Grinch in it. The forest is life. And the children of life. Look at that guy. And we begin to understand this life is part of our own. Joined to us by living threads, we do not tell apart. It's crazy to think these guys are all oil now. They all became fossil fuels. See? Watchful on the ground and watchful in the air. The trained and careful forester can build a fire in a box. Why? And keep it there. Why are you burning the forest? Does it just keep going? Like the phoenix in the fable, comes new life for the jackpot. Life for the crippling. It's a grandfather clock. The hands are missing. 
So many boxes. Was she planning on moving? I don't know if I'd be so calm with this fucking disgusting body next to us. Dude, all those like varicose veins and shit popping out. Didn't deserve this. We can't even look at the body again. Come on. Oh, it's over. That's it. What is this? Another one? Is this the Smokey the Bear documentary? The classic. I have a deep fear of finding a snake in one of these. In a box? A deep fear of finding a snake in a box. Table still set for dinner. What happened, dear? There's some kind of slimy old meat. Do you think that was a Metal Gear reference? God damn it. There's some kind of slimy old meat. It looks like a piece of paper is like inside of it. Maybe I should take this as evidence. Should I take the rotten flesh? Yes. Consume. It's a rusty key. Will you take it? It's kind of like a spatula. Looks like it hasn't been used for quite some time. Diary entry. Told James everything today. I wasn't able to keep secret anymore. I can't even remember the last time I slept. Over the last few weeks, he has shown much concern for me. He says I am looking pale and that I have not been acting myself. I have tried to get him to understand the glimpses of the truth that I have witnessed, but he looks at me like I'm crazy. He even asked if I was on drugs. He doesn't know me at all. I have to sleep, but how many more times will I be safe to enter my dreams until they finally get me? The fellas in my dreams. I'm feeling much better since the doctor prescribed me an antipsychotic medication. He says I'm not psychotic. He just gave me them off label for sleeping. When I take them, I'm knocked unconscious within an hour and I evade the dreams entirely. It's so relieving to wake up in the morning, even if my limbs feel as though they're weighed down by sandbags, I can live again. Not hungry. We got an upstairs. What else we got? A little door here. No. No. Checking out the upstairs. Can't look at the picture. Doorknobs missing. There's no way to enter. Nice. Just an ordinary shower. A nice little bathroom. Five. Yo. Bathroom hole. Silent Hill 4. There's some boards nailed to the wall. Thought I was bad at do it yourself. You can see something shiny in there. Rip that shit off the wall. Can't use that here. What are you, stupid? Bathroom hasn't been clean for a long time. Doesn't look that dirty. Uh, this is more of like a Silent Hill clone. Even though these diary entries look very Resident Evil. There's something else in the house besides me. I thought that James had come home early from visiting his sister in Lake Haven, but there's no sign of him. Uh, and there's no sign of his car, so it can't be him. I keep hearing an unsettling sound coming from the attic. It sounds like a mixture of... Blah, blah. Sounds like a mixture of whispering and slithering. Can't read, did I? 
I finally mustered the courage to investigate the attic, but to my surprise, there wasn't a single living soul in sight. My eyes must have betrayed me, as I could still hear this incessant whispering as if it's being spoken through my bones. Yeah, I thought the, the Resident Evil door animation was about to start on that last one, actually. Now that you mention it. Like that. It was just gonna open. I mean, there's no keyhole. Assumedly. We just gotta find a doorknob and put it on that door. Nothing else up here? The light bulb's missing. It's so dark in here, I can barely see anything. What a cozy place to sit down and read a thrilling book. Painting of a valley of poppies. Maybe this has something to do with the poppy I found. Aha! There's a small button on the frame. Push the button. There's a secret compartment behind the painting. All those years of blindly poking at buttons are finally paying off. What's up, Mansuene? It's a key. It's like impossible to tell what doors the keys are supposed to be for. Oh, wait. We went in here, but there's another door. You're like slime. Moving around or something. Too many keys. Maybe that one goes to the outside. Those are all cans of Pringles. Heavy stone plate embossed with the depiction of an archer. Very Resident Evil, though. I guess the Silent Hill has a bunch of plates. Puzzles in the uh, hospitals. Seems to be a makeshift shrine of sorts. Only one of the verses is still legible. Read the verse. At the time that Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee, 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 was baptized by John in the Jordan. Papa, they're getting me to read the Bible. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open, the Spirit descending on him like a dove. Jesus. Galilee, Galilee, Galilee. What does it mean? Oops. Jesus, John, Dove. Maybe that's the clue. Doesn't really do much for me. What else? She has moved. 
Well, I guess we bring this tablet down there. Bring down the tablet. What do you mean? Oh, it's like a circle. Well, there's a square one over here, I think. Just down the well tunnel. It fits in the relief. What a relief. How dare you. It's a light bulb. That's it? That was all? Someone went through all that to place a light bulb behind this giant fucking stone door. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, a can of light bulbs. A giant can, just one light bulb. All right, put the light bulb in. Wow, the lamp is switched on now. Oh, there's an attic. There's a hatch in the ceiling. Pull the cord? Yeah. The pull cord snapped. Either I'm stronger than I thought, or this is a pretty flimsy pull cord. I don't know. What do you think? Pull cord combined with door handle? If only there's a way to reach the hatch. Rotten flesh. Well, why can't he pick up the cord? Is he really not going to pick it up? Son of a bitch. Yeah, just throw the needle up into it and then tie the string around it. Easy. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, no door knob. Pop up. Empty bathroom. I don't want to leave anything behind incriminating. It's not a bad idea. Just a pry a pry. Apply some cartoon physics. Never not worked. I don't know. Actually, I'll do if there's something like in the carpet, kind of.
Table set for dinner. What else could we do? Maybe. It might be Boulder. I don't know. I don't know who this person is, actually. It's ambiguous. They are a person, apparently. It's like Mulder with Scully's hair. Didn't deserve this. Search the boxes. Maybe the needle is uh, the fucking hand or the clock. That doesn't make sense. Skulder. Well, if this door opened, this has to be some kind of clue. Just about Jesus John Dove. Maybe it's like a Yeah, it does that like a Pokemon. There's more pictures too that you can see now, but I don't think they mean it. Just a flower? Tulip? Poppy? I guess we could try to go back outside. I don't know what else to try. This fucking game. Dead lady. TV. Not hungry. How the hell do we even get in here? The forest. Is that it? There's nothing else in here? Truck. Go back down there, maybe? What else was out in the field? Another rerun. I do not belong to the cow demographic. Damn. Broken door. I don't know. Go out into the field. Check out the cows. There's anything else up here. Although we did get the book. To get down. Uh oh. There's no way out now. There we go. 
think we're onto something with the other guy. Here you go over there. Come on. Let's go. Also, yeah, I think there's a skeleton out there. Or a scarecrow, rather. Scarecrow skeleton. Just mocking him. Maybe the well has something we missed in it? I don't know. Nothing crazy there. The fuck else would we use to get up there? A book? Doesn't make sense. The book. We remove this. Yeah, I'm a little stumped. I don't know. Maybe the basement again? I don't know if I tried all the keys in the basement. Oh, <gasps> the rusty key worked in the fucking basement door. Gosh. Skelter. I'm in the basement, I think. Toolbox. It's locked. I bet you one of my keys opens it. We got 80 keys. Heavy metal door. It has a keyhole. Underneath the keyhole is another tiny hole. Jesus fucking Christ. The needle fucking worked. Something tells me I won't find anything useful for the case here. Nevertheless, this place might be worth a look. It's like someone's room. What the fuck? Clock stopped at 23.59. Where am I? Is this PT house? The dresser is very dirty. Someone picked up the phone but never hung up. Eerie. Dresser is very dirty. Someone picked up the phone, but never hung up. Who are these pictures of? You can see other houses outside. A silent, dreamy neighborhood. Doors locked. Oh, shit. It's a radio player. I wonder if there's anything good on. It's just static. It's vaguely calming, but it's just static. Nothing but white noise. It's vaguely calming, but it's just static. Oh, you're supposed to move it. It's just a Silent Hill 1 inspired game. Totally its own thing. But this is like an Easter egg, I think. Door's broken. <gasps> the baby. 
baby door. Baby? How disgusting. Who would ever use a toilet like that? Smells like old urine. These toilets haven't been cleaned in a long time. Is this really happening? I feel like I know this place. Like a distant memory. <clears throat> so he's just like, oh, this is Silent Hill 2. So he's just like uh, a cop going out to investigate a missing person and just like solving little mysteries around the house. There's not really anything else to it, it seems like. The fuck? Yep. We're in Silent Hill. Where the fuck? Oh, that's sick, dude. Quiet mound. Trunk is shut. I can sense some weird smell coming out of it. What's in there? Who owns this car? Is someone nearby? It smells like some kind of lady. Yeah, this is nice music too. There's a lady smell coming from that trunk. The camera actually is like sick here too. That looks really neat. Called Lake Haven. Steam demo. Well, it's a Steam game. It's like the $3 demo. Road's closed. I can barely see anything. It's so foggy here. Wait, there's stairs leading down into a forest. I've never been here, but this place feels oddly familiar. You can't keep going? Oh, that sucks. music there. Yeah. Wonder if we just have to go back. If we go around. Smell coming from the trunk. I don't know. You never know. What's that? On the blue sign. Oh shit. I thought I was stuck. I don't know. It doesn't look like it says Silent Hill, but I can't tell. So we just got to go back now. What a tease. Eerie. Twenty-three fifty-nine. It's a locked toolbox. Well, it wouldn't say it was locked unless we can open it. I feel like. Is 
So there's literally nothing in the basement. That's whack. We didn't get anything out of that. Hmm. I'm not sure what else we're supposed to, to do. This is called Lake Haven. Nah, well, yeah, those first, the last two spots were definitely like Silent Hill references. But I don't know if that's all it was. Or if it's like relevant to anything happening. I don't think it was. I think it was just like a little Easter egg. Because it's clearly inspired by Silent Hill. Back to the car. Start running down the road. Just fucking leave. Trunk, maybe? It's no moon. It looks like upstairs has kind of got some crazy shit going on. But I thought I looked up there pretty well. Yeah, this is all closed off. Oh, yeah, we could get in there. A moon engraved above the keyhole. It's not a lot of detail. Beautifully crafted iron key. That's it. I got nothing for you. A very small, simple key. It's definitely too small for a keyhole of a door. You would think that would be for the tool box. Tool box. Maybe the book goes into like a shelf somewhere. What if we press the. No, nah, that's already done. There's got to be something with this, too. To be able to get up there. I don't know what the fuck they want me to do though. It seemed like there's no point to the fucking bathroom there. Like what the fuck? rabbit just shoot the boards off just an ordinary shower maybe there's a room with a bookshelf that the book can go on to or something like that it opens up a door I don't know I can't think of anything else on that side. The, land is our living. the hands are missing. Hey, if you got an idea, let me know. I'm going to have to look it up in a second, I guess. Care for the house of the woods. To mend and reweave the tapestry of green and gold and living blood we call a national forest. There goes that fox.
got to be something with a fucking Bible verse. Oh, yeah, I tried the shovel handle on that door. Unfortunately, it didn't work. You'd think it would. You would think. A number? I don't know. Hold on. Let's look it up real quick. All right, Lake Haven. How do I fucking beat this game? Maybe in the Steam discussion, actually, it has some safe puzzle. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's gotta be like a safe. Or something like that that I'm missing. Apparently there's a safe combo you have to get. Hmm. Oh, okay. I got a little hint, I think. That hopefully. So apparently that rotten meat is supposed to go on that altar in the well. I never would have thought of that. I guess it makes sense. Put in the meat. This is for evidence. Meat's back in the menu. The flesh is on the altar. I wonder what happens now. Oh. The clock ends? Yes. Nothing but blood and rubble. Blood and rubble. Yeah, that was like a $10,000 marble piece. It was all part of the puzzle. Okay. So now. What time do we put the time at? Twenty three forty nine. Now, in the night, the creatures of the forest come forth to seek their food. That's when the psalmist put them in his song. Yeah, we got it way up. One night a meal may be lost. Another dawn. Although I don't know if that was just like a Easter egg or what. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like right there. That do something? No hunger comes and death. The light oh, that was it. The gold of summer. Dude, first fucking try. Oh, I just looked up the fucking clue before it. Completely thought of it on my own. Well, what the fuck now? Maybe the door works?
Also, that five seems like to mean something. No, but I think the Bible verse has something to do with the, like some next puzzle. It might be just having to go back to the basement. One nine eleven. Nine eleven. Jesus John Dove. This life is part of our own. Jesus did nine eleven. trying to say oh my god apparently he can Do you think that changed anything? Eerie. No. Don't think it did. different out here nope just Silent Hill yeah it does make sense you're not wrong you ain't wrong <laughs> Any like crazy paintings or anything? Yeah, I'm thinking that's just a Easter egg. Yeah, look at this. You see the face? Right there in the wall? It's like a sideways face. It's just a guy with his mouth open. Did you see it? was that maybe I should have like checked the body again maybe that's when she got murdered no. you didn't deserve this the hands won't budge anymore I guess there's nothing more to do here yeah it could be they could actually be a reference to that. I wouldn't be surprised. There's very heavy Silent Hill references throughout the game. Check the well. Were those candles lit up before? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think I have what I need down here. Something can be said here. What's that? Circle down there.
Maybe there's another way you can go. Back upstairs. Well, the other thing I haven't checked is like out here. Oh yeah, there's a face right there. Yeah, it looks like Frieza. Right in front of him, standing on it. A lot of people don't know that there was a Frieza face in Silent Hill 4. Which is that's a what that's a reference to that, actually. The door's broke. This little guy over here. Tiny little guy. You know, it's kinda neat. What was he doing here? What was he doing? Bup, 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 bump. Oh, I'm stumped again. Hold on a second. <laughs> da, 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 da. I think there's a placard I'm missing. Like I did the puzzle. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I got nothing. Can't find anything. This game's called um, Lake Haven. Maybe the car? There's got to be something really simple I missed. What the fuck is it? Watchful on the ground. Watchful in the air. The train. Hmm. Painting. Hear me, Sorry. What? This requires an Audi, not an Inny. Okay, that kind of seems like a clue. Yeah, the mailbox had a bunch of uh, notes in it. I don't know if maybe there's something else in it, though. So it's obviously something with this. Maybe there's something in the barn I mixed. I mixed it. It's weird that you don't have to shoot anything either, right? I'm not sure what it's saying that to.
Maybe there's something. Oh my god. There's a screw hole at the bottom of the handle. So what the fuck does that go to? Yeah, it's a weird ass house. Does look like inside out. She got a good deal on it though. The fuck was there to screw a thing into? A hunger. There's gotta be some crouching list. <clears throat> I would assume at least. Yeah, nothing left in the mailbox. Car hasn't been used. Small screw hole. Bottom. Maybe the don't. Some hay. A large pile of hay. That's where the needle was. The needle in the haystack. on this side. Oh, wait. No, it's like a dead end. Yeah, I've been over here. This is where that book was. Maybe there's something else in that book. Like, we opened it up. The golden arrow. All the pages are blank. Gotta be something else. Hey. The golden arrow. It's some kind of fairy tale, but I haven't heard of it. Maybe the handle goes to the clock and it winds it up, maybe? That's on the door. Right? Maybe that's what it's for? Oh shit. Fell off the porch. Because the clock hands were golden arrows. Huh. Interesting. Guess not. I still think there's something in this room we haven't figured out, too. Can I not really interact with anything else in here? Just the Bible? Nazareth, baptized in Jordan. Saw the heaven. Saw heaven being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. There's really not more to that. I 
I don't know. Table's still set for dinner. Yeah, there's gotta be some, like, really simple missing. Fuck. One thing that someone mentions is that we need to find is the chimera plug. The riches of the forest are for all. But where the fuck would that be? Logic. Yeah, I'm just looking for like solution to this puzzle. This is the work of the forest service to care for the house of the woods. Like people are getting stuck at different spots in the game. It seems like. Arrow's flight leads the way. Hmm. Now, in the night, there's a hook too. Where the fuck did this guy find the hook? Yeah, I don't think the PT area has anything to do with the actual game, though. Let's see any solutions here, really. Maybe you take that relief thing out of the hole, put it in the other slot. Something with the arrows. The forest is life, and the children of life. I don't know what the fuck else to do here. This life is part of our own. So this points the way, apparently. So it's gotta be something upstairs. Missing like a hook to go onto the handle, I think, that you're supposed to use to open this fucking ceiling. But I don't know where the fuck it is. This is getting really stupid. No doorknob. Yeah, it's not in that area. We but that then again that was the clue that opened up the the clock. I'm gonna check one more thing. I'm gonna see if someone else is uh 
figured it out. Or watch their fucking video real quick. Like, okay, here's a room I haven't seen yet. What the fuck? So it is the toolbox in the fucking basement. Huh? What the fuck? I swear the solution is something I've already tried before. Man, that's lame. Okay, so it's in the cellar door. That toolbox downstairs, that has, that's the small key lock. Even though I definitely tried it on it. Maybe I like wasn't close enough. That's fucking frustrating. What the fuck, dude? I just must have been like a pixel off. That's so annoying. That's a little annoying. That's definitely like half the running around. Not knowing what to do. But yeah, definitely too many keys. Like, cut the number of keys in half, please. In the first, it's for like 20 minutes of the game. Yay! Moon key. Also, where's that tunnel go? Where'd that tunnel go? Probably nowhere. Or maybe. There's a damp smell coming from the hole. This is kind of cool. It's probably nothing to be curious about. Seriously, there's a really strong, musty smell emanating from the hole. It smells strongly of mushrooms? And vaguely of laundry? I should probably just give up. I don't really know what I'm expecting from this hole. But as holes go, it is rather nice. Better check the hole one more time just to be sure. Hello? <gasps> Hello? A mystery hole. I wonder where it goes. Probably nowhere. Just starts over again. Maybe. That's kind of a neat uh, reference. I uh, like that. Crescent Moon Key. Ah, of course. The only room we haven't been in. Painting of an eagle flying over a creek. Nice. It's a painting of a landscape at sunset. Neat. The painting depicts the baptism of Jesus by John. Someone painted some numbers over it. Oh, okay. So that's the reference to the verse. Not exactly an art critic, but it probably looked better before the new additions. Page from a book here. People of the village looked on in terror as the beast's hideous visage crested the mound of rocks to the east. The wretched screech was enough to make all the king's men take flight. All bar one, that is. Uh, we already figured this part out. That was the clue to putting the meat on the fucking altar. Double bed. Diary pages. 
James came back from his business trip today. Something seems off with him, but I can't put my finger on it. His eyes, have they always been green? They are real. The three men are real. Why is James lying to me? Tell me that I'm delusional. Last night, one of them was looming over me while we were in bed. I felt his hideous presence within two feet of me, and James still had the nerve to tell me it was all in my head. Probably sleep paralysis, he said. It's 3.45, too, according to the clock. I like this. This music is nice. A steaming cup of coffee is resting on the table. The rich taste of coffee always helps me relax. Save progress? What? Progress saved. Oh, that's sick. If that's actually the way you save. I thought it was going to be like a reference or something. Interesting. Yo, Global Trance. With the fucking 25 months, dude. Big months. Appreciate that, man. There are no clothes in the wardrobe. Is she planning on leaving? There's that hook. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a Deadly Premonition reference or something, or Twin Peaks. What it was used for? Do you take the hook? This definitely feels like a Twin Peaks song. Kind of a little bit. Angela, or Angelo Battlemonti, or whatever his name was. He just passed away recently. Also, this guy looks like an alien, kind of. The dark. It's looking spooky. Pop. Oh. Alright. Open up that attic. The shovel hook. Well, that did the trick. Good here. She sure liked these rugs. The safe. Definitely not a spooky ghost. Anything just to just add shape? Hold on one second. Da -da, da 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 da. Da da da. Okay. I think I know how to do this part. It's an old safe. Looks pretty solid despite its age. Turn the dial. Oh, I fucked up. page in here. Yeah, I know. Would you really need the handle for that? You could probably just use the hook to grab the fucking thing. As the creature writhed and squirmed in a pool of its own blood, the archer raised both of his hands directly above him and exclaimed, This is thy time, foul beast. Thy flesh thou shalt forfeit for the breath of your sins. It was midnight when the final blow fell upon the beast. Its flesh was only was placed on an altar, and only then was the chimera's limp body set in its final resting place. So we like did all this shit out of order by accident. God damn it. Like that should have been the clue to 
the archer, I guess. Can we not just go back down? Oh, there it is. I was in the wrong spot. Yeah, imagine if you couldn't. That would make this game not even. That would be very frustrating. So the safe combination is the position of the words in the brackets are the order that the safe combination was in. So Jesus, John, Dove, and then the painting was Jesus, John, Dove. It was just that order. That's where that came in. That's where that part's from. Camera plate. Another door behind the other door. The hell's that? The doorknob. Somewhere out there, there's a door missing this. Kind of sad if you think about it. Couldn't we have just like gone to a hardware shop and gotten the doorknob? Like he has a car. Or just open the door another way. Did you hear that? Pretty s oh she she's gone. What? what? Who turned the TV off? What the fuck? Also, there was no ground behind him, like, backing out of there. That was kind of neat. Like, he had to do that. Shouldn't have done that. The fuck? She's holding something. Letter to James, October 1987. Dear James, I found out that you're living in your sister's house now. I'm so sorry for what I did to you. I never wanted to hurt you with the things I said. None of them were true. I love you. Please come back. I miss being here with you. And she's dead. She did. It fits. Should be able to use a door now. So that like slime sound has been like plant the whole time or something what happened here this room is damp and moldy already starting to feel dizzy shouldn't stay for too long it's a large stone tablet signia of an angel carved into it will you take the angel insignia yes definitely a dead body in this room somewhere Window's broken. It still feels like there's not even a bit of fresh air in here. Shouldn't stay for too long. Yeah, what's that on the ceiling? Diary entry. I knew it. James is one of them. Why is he doing this to me? The only thing I can feel is hatred. Every time he touches me, my skin crawls. Can't bear, bear to be... I can't bear him being here. I told him to leave. James came back home. 
But this time something seems even more off than the last time. I don't have any options left. Next passage is unreadable. It was crossed out several times after it was written down. I dug a hole in the garden. I hope it's big enough. Oh, that's where the small key was, right? I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense. None of it makes any sense. Or maybe that's a reference for the needle, so you go to the other area. I don't know. Yeah, what's up, Blazing? Let's that raid, dude. Actually, it was making that sound the whole time. It's like a weird shrieking sound. All right, I think this is the real end this time. I should have actually inspected that. The angel insignia is in place now. Oh, yeah, it's like a plant monster. What the fuck? Moving vines. That's actually kind of a neat camera. Descending in. Yeah, it's like breathing. There's just like an ancient temple buried underneath the house. What the fuck? Giant Silent Hill 4 face. <clears throat> A lot of weird Silent Hill 4 references. Although technically not really the same thing, but... He's on his way to the east. Alone, a prisoner of her rotting hollow of flesh and bones. For a long time, she didn't feel anything. Until the inner circle reached out its hand to her. I'm Lewis. Oh. And suddenly, she understood. She was dead, yet she lived. She went to a state of chrysalis. She did well. That's the name of the game. I'm so proud of her. It's like late caving uh, chrysalis. Chrysalis. He talks to a Sam. Just a coincidence. Dying is living. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Whoa. The metamorphosis. Hmm. Looks like it attaches to something. Can you take the strange iron shape? Yes. What is it? Part of a very weird key. You got the strange iron shape. Where do you use it? So heavy now. So heavy that I bet it belongs to a heavy door. Where's the heaviest door? Wouldn't that have been it? Like back there? I don't think a heavy door. It's 
fun. Oh, it's all crazy now. Uh oh. It was barbed wire, it wasn't like a bind at all. Oh, that is so fucking cool. That is some really neat visuals. I thought I grabbed him. But what door? Where was there a heavy iron door? I guess the one in the basement? But I thought that's what the pinhole was. Oh wait, there's two. Two keyholes. You use the basement key. Isn't that the ghost from the attic? We were in the TV all along. What's wrong with that guy? really cool too. Little David Lynch room. The phone's disconnected. Who would I even call? Yeah, the curtains are just drawn down. This game's called Lake Haven. Just keep going. What? Yeah, this is just a demo. This is like the first chapter of the game, apparently. It's like the prologue. It's only like three bucks, too. Okay, there's a thing. But it's not the full game, so. It's a cube. It fits really well here. Okay. Yeah, it was like two cubes. It wasn't just a cube. This is like giant room now. Oh, the phone's ringing. Answer the phone. I 
maybe getting kind of crazy again. Missing. Oh, is that her? I'm missing now. It's very, it's very weird. Who's looking for Hugh? Permanently uninterested. What's he writing? Are you writing the whole story? See you in 25 years. Yeah, aside from some of like the dumb key stuff and they're not really being clear, like what the gameplay is going to be like, you're going to be shooting things or you just be running around. I still think that was really, really cool. Like they got the vibe perfectly. It's pretty cinematic too. But we'll see. For three dollars, you can't really go wrong. Yeah, that was cool. Music was really neat. But yeah, I feel like a lot of games go straight into like, oh, we got to get the crazy monsters because it's a Silent Hill game. It's like way more focused on the atmosphere and stuff. But yeah, the actual like technical stuff, I'm not sure about. But yeah, the cinematography was amazing. Some really cool moments. A little frustration, but it's more of a technical issue, I guess. More than anything. But yeah, that was really fun. I really hope they continue. Yeah, I really hope that they've been working on it or there's more coming out soon. Played a lot of games trying to do a similar thing, I feel like. And I have only been really blown away a few times. I wouldn't say I'm blown away right now, but which is really neat. I don't know if I care about the story that much, though. The story kind of seemed more Lynchian, too, a little bit. So, yeah, hopefully they come out more. Yeah, it just says it's like a prologue to the game kind of introduction, if you will. And it's cool. I like all the Silent Hill references and stuff. I think that that must have been the real ending. Yeah, I never played much Echo Knight, but I could see it. I could see it. Yeah, what? Like, why save at that one spot? That seems so strange. Yeah, I don't see a lot of other information here about the game. On the Steam page, at least. It has quite a few reviews, though. It just came out in January, this chapter. It's cool. Kansas, it's in Kansas. Kansas Police Department receives a call from an old woman called Marianne Lambert, acting out of concern for her younger friend Eleanor Robertson. 
So the letters that you find in the mail, that's kind of like the reason why you're there, apparently. Detective Zeke Reynolds is called to investigate what he assumes will be another case he'll quickly forget, but he finds be sewn to the fabric of his existence forever. Serves as a forward to the mind-bending and surreal mystery that is to follow. Experience the story of Zeke Reynolds as he becomes intrinsically bound to the shady happenings in Lake Haven. Contains depictions of violence and death. It covers topics such as mental illness and suicide. But yeah, pretty solid reviews too, which is, you really can't say that for a lot of games like this too. Yeah, hopefully it gets something coming out in the next year or two. Police department for the entire state of Kansas. They only need the one. All right. I'm going to wrap it up for now. Got to bounce. I ended off just at the right time, but uh, maybe I'll be back later on tonight. No promises, but if not, I think I'll be back around tomorrow around the same time doing a stream. And uh, maybe some other stuff. Basically, Silent Hill, but leaning way more into Twin Peaks aspect of Lynch. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> Even though Silent Hill felt like it was leaning into Twin Peaks a little bit already. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Like I said, I got to bounce. I'm going to go get some food and stuff. And I got to pick up my girlfriend at work. Um, I will see you guys soon. Like I said, maybe I'll be back later tonight, if not tomorrow. Till then. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.